Hello, this is Hawker Devine, and today we are going to be reading Backrooms Level 53. It is not a normal level whatsoever. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Attempt 53. Hello there to whoever is reading this, if anyone. My name is Alan Grady, and I am a 37-year-old male of average height. I am writing this because I am trapped in my own home, and I don't know how to get it out. And this is my last attempt at outside communication. I guess it's best to start where it's starting. That's a good enough starting place as any. It was December of 2008, almost Christmas. It was just me in the house that day, alone. I don't remember much, but I remember my entire house falling, if that makes any sense. I still have the damn decorations up right now, as of writing. Well, I then woke up after being knocked out cold for who knows how long. I awoke to see my house how it normally should be. Though some objects and glass shards were on the floor from what had happened. I looked around to see the outside world was still outside my, my windows. I realized that this wasn't the case soon after. I thought things could still be normal after all of that. I tried opening my front door, but it just led back to my house. I froze in fear. I didn't understand what was going on, nor did I really want to know. It all happened too fast. I jolted it back to the corner of my wall and sat down, with my back leaning against it. I just sat there in shock and deep thought. What will I do now? I looked around to explore the house itself. Everything there was draw for the most part. All the bedrooms, the bathrooms, the kitchen, my devices, it was all there, even the basement. Here's an image of the kitchen if you are wondering. Why well, specifically the kitchen? Oh well, this is a really neat kitchen. It does bring back some nice memories though. Cozy, ain't it? The small bundle of a mess that I call home. Well, days had passed, then the days turned to months, but the sky outside the window never got dark. It was always early in the morning, like 7 a.m. maybe? I can't really tell anymore. The clock still works, and it's 4.23 a.m. currently. I haven't gotten much sleep since I got here. I never felt like I needed too often. The food is edible and the water is drinkable, but only from the fridge. And I, need, I need to use a filter pitcher. Soon, I thought I ran out of things to eat, but when I went down to the basement, there is always this pile of food on the ground that can last me a few days. I always have to grab it all and run to the fridge and cabinets to make sure some of the food stays fresh. It doesn't restock at a certain time, though. It's always completely random. One time, it wouldn't restock for weeks. I have no clue how I, was, how I was able to survive that long and feel normal. It wasn't until the at very last week that I started to feel very hungry as of all the days previously that I haven't eaten came back to haunt me. That was until I looked to see if the basement had resucked, and it did. But I noticed that most of the packages were ripped open and broken. Then I saw I then saw movement, so I slowly walked towards the small pile small food pile to see what was inside. Turns out a little mouse had gotten into the food pile and was having a good time eating everything he saw. Must have been here before the house fell. I carefully trapped the mouse in a jar, brought him upstairs to a small cage from a previous hamster pet, and I made him my little friend. I named him Louie, and I fed him daily. But honestly, it doesn't help the fact that I am still alone from any other human being. Well, soon after, years had passed, and during those times, I'd get visitors. Still do. However, they are not human. They are more tall, slender, and they have no face. The facelings. They don't seem to be any danger, though. They just aimlessly wander my house. 
either sitting at the table or the couch or just looking out the windows. Sometimes they sit down next to me as I watch TV. Surprisingly, it still works normally. I still needed to get cable before all of this, so there wasn't much to watch. Wi-Fi also still works, although it's practically crap. There isn't much to do, so I took cooking as a hobby. All the kitchen utensils work, so I usually cook whenever, whatever I can with like a random assortment of foods. I make really good steak if you ever want to try some, whoever you are, if you even find me. Oh, wow. It looks okay. It's here for you anytime you come by. Yeah, it actually does look pretty good. Even though my food was stocked in, the ba in, in my basement, it's always on a concrete floor in the middle of the room. I have to go and wash it at every time after moving on to food so nothing gets infected. Meanwhile, I noticed I was getting a pile of food every few days to a week, which was much more than I could eat. I started to save my food to make sure I have enough to last me a few years. And hell did it work out for me. I got my own cookbook and everything. I'm sort of an expert in cooking now. Well, a lot of time has passed now. I recently made many attempts to escape, including breaking the windows. It, it has always shown a nice neighborhood and some people walking around outside. I was always staring at them or even screaming help, but no one did anything. Well, besides one time when there was a whole group of people just staring at me from afar through the window. I really couldn't sleep after that. I made my efforts to break the windows, but they wouldn't budge until one of them eventually broke. Although my efforts were for nothing, as it just led to my house. Again. Now I'm just here. There seems to be no way out, and it seems like I am stuck here for the rest of my life. You know, I just... miss people. I just wonder why I was brought down here. Everything happens for a reason, right? Then what's the reason for my suffering? Why? Well, these are questions I could think about later. I am putting these notes in my mail slip on my front door. So that, and, and, when, and I put something in through, it never appears on the other side. It has to lead somewhere. Sadly, this space is only small enough for, to fit in a letter. So this is what I'm doing now. I hope someone does find this. And whoever you are, please help me. Your friend, Alan Grady. <sighs> Mac report eighty seven thirty four on July ninth, twenty. 2016 until proven otherwise. I am still very much American. Deal with it. Anyway. Meg Operative Fritz of Hell of Division Location and Salvation found the note at 1053 while scouting the area of level 9. The note was found in from the red painted wooden door of a small house. Fritz and other Meg Operatives then successfully breached the locked door and had entered the building. It is unknown why the door was locked on one side but not the other. The Wanderer, known as Alan Grady, was successfully rescued and brought back to Base Alpha in Level 0. Edit, July 23, 2016 Alan has been brought back to his home and is now able to enter and leave his home at will, which has been named Level 53 in reference to his successful attempt of contact. This incident will be very crucial to analyze for further exploration and for saving humanity in the back rooms.
And that was level 53. If you liked this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no clue what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So until then, goodbye!